Hey, today I want to give you a review of this uh, kind of kind of cool in motion semi smart watch that works with the V8F. I don't know about the V8, uh, the V10 series, and the V11. Okay, let's first just take a brief look at the packaging. It's a nice, nice box. Watch sits in there. Has a charging cable. It's magnetic. As they point out, um, you want to make sure this grabs on it, uh, anything around you metal while this is plugged in. Otherwise, uh, as they say in the manual, fire will start. <laughs> and uh, a basic manual that it, um, covers I would say all the basics. So let's take a look at the watch now. Here is the functioning of the watch. You can see before we're connected to the wheel, you have the time. I've not been able to figure out how to change the time zone of the watch. I presume there is a way somehow, but um, yeah, don't know. I'm not connected to a wheel, so I need to cl click this search for wheel scanning. Finds my V11, and I'm connected. Now you do not have to, once you've done that, you don't have to do that again. Whenever you turn on the wheel and turn on the watch, it'll auto-connect. And you don't need your phone to use to use a watch at all. Um, does not connect to your phone, so that that's cool. You can see the display. Uh, to turn the, the watch on, you hold long press this button and it'll eventually turn on. Same thing if you want to turn it off. I charged this about a week ago. Turn it off and you can see it up the top here, the little battery indicator shows it uh, hasn't lost any battery, battery really in the intervening week. So battery life is probably pretty good. You can see that it has a V11. Uh, the manual says it supports the V10F and V10, and I can see in the history that it had been connected to a V8F. So at least it works with those wheels. You can see the batter, battery percentage. Let me uh, wheel, move the wheel. You can see how that changes. That works fine. Uh, I haven't figured out if there's a way to keep this display from turning on, turning off all the time, because then you have to press a button, and, and anytime you press these buttons, you get that annoying sound, some kind of sound, right? Uh, this turns on and off the headlight, and then this sounds, oops, disconnected. That sounds the trumpet, as they call it. <laughs> By the way, you can see this is a repurposed watch of some sort because there is a fake diver's watch bezel around the perimeter. It's fake because those don't work with the digital watch. And even if they did, it, the bevel, bezel has to turn, rotate, which it doesn't. All right, uh, this is the metal display. Go this way and you can see average speed max power, temperature, and current mileage. I would make use of the temperature and the current mileage probably, mostly at the temperature if I was using this. And of course, primarily it would be the, the, what I really care about when I'm riding is the battery percentage, my speed, and temperature. As you can see, it's a touch display. So there are three displays. Vehicle management is where you go to select which wheel you're on. And settings allow us to configure the wheel. At some level, we can do a, how, <clears throat> what's our max speed? We can change the volume. Here there's 
no no annoying that sound now when I press the buttons it's probably what I would be the mode I would be in most of the time of course then you can't use the trumpet <laughs> light effect switch is the daylight running lights we should, we should just call it that button for handlebar is your lift sensor you can enable disable that raised awake I have not figured out what that does. You can upgrade the firmware on the wheel. I have no idea why you would want to do that uh, by your, your watch. <laughs> and information about the vehicle, your, your, your wheel, serial number and firmware version. And uh, that is the functioning of the watch. All right, well, I have to give uh, Emotion an A for for effort in uh, putting together a dedicated watch for the wheels. I think the concept is really cool. Uh, if I had gotten this watch, I would have uh, taken the bands off because they really don't work with your, if you have wrist guards on, and just put some Velcro here mounted to my, to my wrist and it'd be fantastic for the Basic functions, be able to look at your speed, battery, be able to use a horn. Uh, so, A for effort, but uh, for uh, functional, practical use, I gotta give it an F. And the reason is, look at the color on this display. Uh, some of the, 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 the labels are white, but all the parameters are in this pale red and uh, if you're riding your wheel inside or at night beautiful but if you're riding outside on a bright cloudy day or god forbid sunlight you can't see anything it disappears how they can be how they can produce a watch and miss the fundamentals like that like did they did anyone actually use it? it it's kind of mind blowing but um again a for effort so uh I might be willing to spend five bucks on this for the horn function perhaps but uh other than that um I think I'd save your money all right guys hope this was uh useful and I'll talk to you later.